Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to GIO Stadium. My name is Dustin Richards, and today I'm joined by Ash for her first time in the booth. Thanks for having me in here, Dusty. It's a it's a beautiful night here in GIO. GIO. The champions of last year's seasons taking on the rookies, but honestly, what do we think of this game? Honestly, uh, Gold Coast coming off a brutal loss against Newcastle last week, where well they got crashed by 30. They're second place. They need to get a bounce back before um, they're overtaken and lose the course of this game. But Canberra Raiders, they're going in. They're currently on fifth place. A win could put them back into the top two. It's just essential that they play well, both teams here. Really uh, good to note that Liam Ryan has moved back to fullback position this week after playing on the ring. Hopefully get that uh, good old uh, run meters back in the, the kick returns. But as we see Luke Thompson now kicking it down to Liam Ryan himself. Go to Hayden Davis at the start. It's going to be a well, it's going to be one hell of a point scoring game, I reckon. Don't you think? Ah, uh, yeah, it could be high points here. Both teams have the ability to strike from anywhere, really, with the players they have available. Especially players like Mike Borson, Daly, O'Donnell. Here he goes. Here he goes now. As we get back from the uh, experiments with Spider Cam, there uh, we see Liam Ryan taking it down the middle. Oh, they're getting, they've already gained so much on the set, they're already up to the 30 on the fourth tackle. Canberra's defense has not been, uh, well, it's not even awake yet. As we'll see Mike Borsons, who eliminate himself from kicking duties, as he'll take a hit up. Uh, 23 meters out will be Jerome Daly. There. Good kick. Really good kick as Riley Flynn takes it, but he's going to get dragged back, back to, well, four meters out from his own try line. It's going to be a bit of a well, tough set here for Canberra to get back there. Tim James with the uh, late pass to Rohan Gawal, going back to the lock position after playing on the right second row position last week. Brody Flynn now. Back to Eli Barnes. Oh, no, it's, it is Eli. Eli been exceptional all season. Been one of the best pullbacks in recent memory, uh, especially last season. Been all around a great performer. As we'll see... Oh, O'Neill with his first touch of ball. Now Barnes again. Breaks one tackle. Gets over the line. He's going to be tackled 32 metres out. Going to go for the kick here. What do you think of that set, Ash? Uh, that set was just exceptional from Eli Barnes himself. Really just putting his team on his back as he usually does. Takes one man yeah. to change the games and Eli's that player. Certainly. He can, uh, well, can cause a bit of a whitewash at times over Eli with the tries he can score. As we'll see, Mike Borson, Borson's with another hit up, trying to get back into field position, it seems, as Mark Lee, who is now back at that lock position after a week at hooker to versus mm. Newcastle. And as we saw, that didn't go the best. No, as Lockton Martin takes it over the 40. Fourth tackle now. Will they go for the early kick? We'll soon find out. They're in position. No, they won't. Mm. Borson's will elect to run it again. Good choice from Borson's. Too much Raiders pressure there for a kick. Yeah, Raiders, Raiders defense been a bit better on this set as we'll tear it down deal, deal again with Daly. And it's Andy Slugger, the former Raven, I believe, taking it up to the 30. Hey, 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 this season's just been... Honestly, I've got to be a little harsh, but the outside backs for this season have just been tisk-tisk. Not much talent out there. Got to let them develop a little bit longer, though. Yeah, certainly. As we'll see, well, Jack Black, I believe... Going through James Black, sorry, I was thinking yeah, of James. Uh, e. <laughs> Luke Thompson now back onto the 30. Fourth tackle, it's going to be. Slow game so far. We saw a fast start, but it's whizzled down. As Jack O'Neill gets the ball, it's over the 30, 25 metres out. Didn't get much space there to break through the line as he usually would have. And it's going to go to Riley Flynn. Light kick there. We've got to Ben O'Donnell. And has been exceptional all season for the Titans, especially with the kick returns. Luke Driscoll now, former Rabideau, taking it over the 20. I played the ball there. We'll see Lachlan Martin. You know, the 30. Honestly, how do we break this deadlock so far? There's lots of these, both these teams are eliminating space, Ash. Um... I feel like it's going to come down to fatigue. Both these teams are heavy hitters through the middle and have plenty of outside backs can, that can break through those middles. So it's going to come down to who does it first, who who takes that risk. 
Yeah, certainly. Uh, and risk, if you take a risk, you can certainly reap the rewards in the SRL. We'll see Angie Slugger now for another run, but he doesn't get far again. It's all about just making sure you can find a gap where you usually can't, where it usually isn't. Our eyes up football is the key here. As we see a fast play to ball with Jordan Lewis. He'll go to O'Neill with an inside ball to Rohan for a while. Take him back. Third tackle now. Ten minutes haven't even gone in this game yet. One, one thing that I do want to check after this set is will the Raiders continue to kick to that left-hand corner? They've, put, they've been putting pressure on that winger's side, making him run back, probably trying to fatigue him. Do you think that's strategy, or do you think that's just the way the wind's flowing for the Raiders? Could be strategy. The Raiders positioning themselves. As we see it now, they'll go back to Ben O'Donnell, uh, really kicking to his wing now. Xavier Demando, I don't think, has touched the ball once, so I think it's just trying to eliminate the better winger on the kick returns. Uh, that way, if you eliminate them on the first tackle, they can't take a hit up through the middle like other prop uh, wingers can do. As we'll see, Mark Lee breaks through the Mark line, Lee goes over to... the 40. Uh, captain of the Titans, if I'm not mistaken. Or is he yeah, the captain, Titans? Captain of the Titans, uh, former Knights captain as well. Michael McLucky now makes an, doesn't make too much of an impact, getting dragged back to the 50. Fourth tackle, Eden Davis now. Oh, oh breaks a tackle through over the 40, offloaded nice. on the 30 to Mark Lee, his captain at 13. Who will I ask Crutcher at, at Hooker pass to? We might see a Michael McLucky kick. Looks like we, yes, we will. Kicks it over to the side of Angie Slugger again. It'll be Jack O'Neill catching it though, and he's fast. He's over the 30, gets a bit more space than um, what the Titans would have liked, and he's going to get tackled 35 metres out with Liam Ryan out of position. O'Neill tried to throw a little bit of a goosey on. Uh, is it Liam Ryan there at fullback with the headgear? Yes. Liam, Liam Ryan, though, expert player in that position, as we've seen all season, other, other than the time he went to winger, he's got that defense that a lot of fullbacks don't have. Of like, You see a plenty well, of mistakes from the fullbacks, but <laughs> I'm talking too soon. Commentators curse the Raiders. Well, on the Liam scoring. Ryan, it's a tackle on Wally Allen, and Jordan Lewis is put on his back. Beautiful shot on Jordan Lewis. And a grab a kick. Ball. And it'll be picked up by James Black. And it'll be over for a try, it looks like. And Liam Ryan head puts the referee for some reason. Well, I'll have to come back to look at it. He's a little stressed. <laughs> a pearl, a, the grubber just gets caught up on the goalpost from Jack O'Neill. But it's going to be James Black who's able to pick it up. And we thought there that I think it was Ash Crutcher would have been able to stop the try. But he's unable to. And he gets over for a four-pointer, James Black. Just bad angle for Ash Crutcher to try and pick up that ball. J James Black just had plenty of space to get his hands around the ball and find some space in the line. Yeah, certainly. When you play 10 at prop, you usually get a bit more space. Uh, but the good stuff to see as Luke Thompson now kicks it, o kicks it over for a 6-0 lead with 14 minutes gone in the first half. Uh, on what do you make of that, uh, that first couple of minutes there, Ash? What do you think both teams need to improve on? Uh, honestly, Titans just need to have a little more faith in their attacking line. They're not really... They've kind of depended on this right-hand side of their attack. Spread it left a little. Get those players that haven't really got so much, much space and time. And... Ooh, referee. Take that back. I call a forward pass, but we're going to ignore it. Ashley Klein referee, maybe. Now here's Lewis with a good run. Yeah, Jordan Lewis. A bit of a re interesting pass there. Might need to go take it back at the video ref uh, later on. That's Jack O'Neill. Do a short ball to Wally Allen. Wally Allen has been exceptional for Canberra recently. Uh, really that yardage eater through them uh, on that left edge. As now Jordan Lewis again putting the flat on his back. Not really having the impact as he usually does. But now Jordan Wally Lewis Allen. Been, a, been around in the SRL for a while now. I think Ooh, I might not have my stats right, but it wasn't season four he came into the SRL? I'm not exactly sure, but oh, oh not the greatest kick. Liam Ryan's able to get prime field position for the Titans, exactly what they needed. Titans off the back of a good defensive set. He'll go to Michael McLucky, linking up with Hayden Davis at 10. He'll get over, puts on flat on his back, or twisted onto his back, I should say. He plays the ball slow. Go to Mike Borson's inside ball to Liam Ryan, breaks the line, breaks the oh. tackle. Oh, and it's going to be 
Eli Barnes have to make the tackle. He's going to be out of position for this play. It's third tackle. Hayden Davis, Lachlan Martin linking up with his prop partner. It's tackled on the 10. Fourth tackle. Out wide of Christian McKay. Offload to Xavier oh, Delano. Oh, good twist from the Raiders. That's that's champion defense right there. Certainly. Uh, Raiders currently have a 27-point differential. And after last week's effort, Gold Coast only have four, even though they're second. So a bit they need to win, win the, uh, by a large margin to separate themselves from Auckland at the moment. Uh, who, at the current time, on the live ladder, is 29-point differential. But that's without seeing any, any other games. Now, Tim... James to Rohan Kaval. It's Kaval with a good play to ball now. We'll see a fast one. Marker offside. O'Neill to Wally Allen. I think O'Neill could have gone a bit further and maybe broke the line himself. And go to Tim James. Season off offside defender. He'll make another easy 10 meters. It's fourth tackle. Defense has not gone too bad. Oh, short ball oh, to James back on the back. inside from Jack O'Neill. He's going to be tackled just after the 50. In the Gold Coast territory now, the play of the ball is, but the kick, it's going to be back in their own end, and Jack O'Neill will kick it long, it's going to be Ben O'Donnell receiving the kick again. Oh, steps one he does, and it's going to be Eli Barnes with the tackle. That's a good Eli, that. just, that last play there, I'll go into a few of my notes that I have here, but that little play of Eli Barnes staying just behind his winger and center, just to make sure the sidestep doesn't make, make it far, is just true showing of who is the best fullback in this comp? But in other terms, James Black, give him the man of the match already. I know it's only been 20 minutes in the game, but dude's been playing phenomenally this entire time. And as we speak, Michael McGlucky is going to take the early kick. Gets it pretty far. Eli doesn't take it. Well, Eli doesn't take it. I don't know who was beside him. And it's no. another good tackle. Yeah, great tackle there. And uh, speaking of James Black, he's going to be subbed off now. For the likes of Michael Court and Preston Beats, Preston Beats, a uh, very young rookie, only a few games into his SRL career, but has done astonishing nonetheless. And Eli Barnes himself, he'll be tackled and dragged back. His third tackle, 36 metres out from his own try line. Uber Mobs first touch the ball, and there he is, Beatsy, the rookie. It's going to be fourth tackle. Knight's defence through the middle has been superb, really I making sure they stay in their own end. There's going to be a kick by Thompson to the side of Ben O'Donnell, him off, maybe going for the 40 20, but he's not going to get oh, it. Oh, Clint Oh, beautiful like tackle back. Play. Even standing over his fellow SRL player, it's like a whip for it himself and kind of sw switched it on the way. Yeah, what, but what a great kick by Luke Thompson there. Pro going for the 40 20, it looks like, but comes up with an even better one with an error from. Titans, and it's going to be Wally Allen coming off his edge to make a hit through the middle. Doesn't gain much, many meters there. Going to go swing to the right. Luke Thompson, oh, he's through the line. He didn't have to pass, and it's going to go to Eli. Gain six meters there in that set. It's second tackle. We'll see how we you know, go to Jenny Garcia. Oh, oh, oh tackle, no. right before he can break the line. Ay, 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 Titans, you're letting too many things in, and there's plenty of space for Jacob Morrison for his try first try of the game. The referee's going to check it, though, Dusty. Why do you think they're coming up to the bunker for this one? Oh, potential knock-on, but no, that's safe as house. As, as Jacob Morrison gets a try of some space after an early ball by Luke Thompson, what an amazing form of play. Titans' defense has just been lacking since the... Um, Quite the similar weekend. to last week, I'd say. Yeah, I, they were superb early in the season, and um, well, they did leak a couple points against the Roosters in round two, but was able to come back. They've been down 12 points before. They just need to, well, as Liam Liam Rogers, was, Liam Smallman Rogers would say, hunt in packs and breathe. Set the pressure on their inside man to force the pass, and we'll see. It's no good from Luke Thompson, and he'll only make it 10 nil. Honestly, the Titans fans here in the crowd have got to get a little bit more vocal here for their team. The team's down by 10. 23 minutes in, here at GIO Stadium, their team really needs just some sort of tough break or something. Yeah, Liam Ryan, he needs to be the man to step up. And you can see, you mentioned Titans fans, all the sprinkles of turquoise during, through the green. Uh, need a bit, get a bit more rowdy. Uh, 
if it was sea bus, I'd imagine there would be a woman streaking onto a field. A uh, bit of a throwback to Paramount. Sure. Gold Coast a couple of years oh, ago. No. And now it'd be Tim James to Michael Court. Play, uh, Court was playing hooker last week, but has been shifted back to the bench. We played on the 20. Wally Allen. Oh, breaks through the line. What an amazing form of play. Gets oh, offload just before the 40, but it's going to be dragged back with Rohan Caval catching it. Losing meters. It's those times where you need to take that offload, and there's this, just those times that you shouldn't. I'm sorry, Raiders, but that was not the time to take the offload. No, certainly not. And it would go to the outside ball of Rohan Caval. Inside ball, and it's going to be Mark Lee with the b coming up with it with an intercept. This is the form of, this is where Titans need to be. Put the pressure on the Canberra Raiders now. As will be Christian McKay, 25 meters out. Fast plate of ball. Chinese masterclass. It will be down to Matt Downey on the left edge. Tackled over the 20th. Another great plate of ball. Oh, McLuckley found that on his heels. It's put back, oh, but it's going to be Mark Lee break the line. Oh, plenty of space for him, but Eli, last minute save from him. It'll be Ash Crutcher at dummy half now, trying to go for himself, but he's going to be turned over. And he's going to go back to where he started at the 10. Great fast set here from Gold Coast. And it'll be McLucky with the bomb. Not a bit shallow, I'd say. And it's going to be Riley Flynn coming up with it. But take, but a great tackle there by uh, Jerome Riley Daly. Riley Flynn under the high ball, as always, like he did for the Melbourne Ravens last season. No, no pressure on him. Takes one look at the ball and catches it with ease. But now he's yeah. still he's learning the SRL game. Defensively, I'd say. <laughs> That's and pretty much Justin. centers this season. 100% great defensive efforts. As we'll see Jack O'Neill and Eli Barnes linking up. With fourth tackle going for the early kick. I don't know what Jack was doing there. Because his kick's not great. Oh, but Ooh, huge McKay okay. laid out by... And Luke Driscoll with an inside ball to Liam Ryan. The bit of a play the ball, playing the ball there from uh, Luke Driscoll. I don't see much from him often with that. With Xavier Demando, it's dragged back again. Titans not gaining many meters in this set. The play the ball, 36 meters out. McLucky Borson's linking up. Borson's will go with, try and go through the line, but he's tackled there. Honestly, yeah, that's where the. I'd say that's where the Titans are lacking in this game. Well, the Raiders halves are playing beautifully at, with their outside backs. It's the Titans halves that need to step up a, step up a little and carry their team to getting close to that line and closer to getting points. Yeah, as we we'll see another kick. And it's Xavier Demando taking the ball, but he's not going to be able to go anywhere. Canberra's defense near their line is just superb so far. Great stuff there uh, all around. Ten minutes to go into half time now with Ruben Mob Mobs playing the ball. We've got a Rohan Gaval. At lock, he's a... Well, he's a great addition at lock. Get many, able to gain many meters and fast play to balls. Thompson, outside the Ruben Mobs again. Linking up with his second role, buddy. Ruben Mobs, the captain of the Raiders. I'm 50-50% sure it might be Tim James. I might be wrong. But a what a... Captain, here's a here is a Neil now taking the... Six, the number six run, you don't see that often. They'll send it to Riley Flynn for a kick. Another pretty sloppy kick from the Raiders. Yeah, looks like they were going to try and go for a 40-20, but it didn't have the angle nor the distance. And it's just going to be a 40-40. And uh, you don't get rewarded for that, but um, except, well, the Titans, as they'll now play it 38 metres on their own try line. Honestly, I'll say this now. Let's not give up on the Titans. Their attack's a little bit sloppy, but with the way Raiders have played last game, their last couple games, if they can't like hold their lead at halftime to be higher than something, it's for, it's huge fatigue in the second half and and lots of mistakes throughout the middle. I honestly, I, I'm gonna say Titans to come back here. Potentially, as we see Liam Rogers now take the ball. Going to go short side. Oh, oh, it's going to be a good pass by Ash Crutcher. You've done the commentator's uh, uh, curse. <laughs> Once again, let's see how many times I can do it in a single game. And now, Eli Barnes will take it up to the 40, being put on his back. Amber, good field position. Uh, not, to be honest, haven't had the greatest field position, but still been able to be ahead on points. But it's going to be a penalty by Titans. And it's going to get that field position they much needed. Again, commentator's curse. <laughs> it's not that even squeezing that time. I've, I've, I've only been in here one game and I'm cursing the second place squad. 
Maybe it's a good thing I'll make the I'll make the competition a little closer than what it already was. As we'll see now, Tim James taps it on for Rohan Caval. We see how dangerous these guys can be in the red zone. Let's see how fur much further they can get. Inside ball to Garcia from Luke Thompson. Played on the 30. Doesn't gain anything from that one. But it's going to be second tackle. Thompson again. Going to Preston Beats. Big 15. Plays the ball slowly. Back with Luke Thompson on the outside. To Jacob Morrison. The, tri the previous try score. Breaks... It's fast play ball. Two offside defenders. With now the beats. He'll try and gain a bit more. Just gets shot of the 10. See what kind of kick the Raiders put up here. It'll be O'Neill putting up a bomb. That's a pretty good bomb. And it's going to be <laughs> Liam Ryan. And he's going to be oh, what laid out. And that's a knock on Mark Lee. Ch 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 Titans, you're just giving the Raiders field possession at this point. <laughs> Yeah, the moment you think Titans to get on a roll, they just give it up for themselves. And Mark Lee, the captain, uh, got a bit of butter on his fingers. As we'll see, Ruben Mobbs now coming again off his... Well, coming off his edge. 10 metres out, second tackle. O'Neill. Unders ball to Wally Allen. 5 metres out now. O'Neill. Eli Barnes linking up. Oh, oh I think he's oh, just Ruben made it. He... Hawk screws his way through and we'll go up to the bunker. Ref says no try, but we'll see the bunker says, oh, the nah, angle's not too great. We'll try from another. Not, the, not even a... <laughs> uh, too many Titans legs in the way. We'll have to rely oh. on the bunker for this one. They I say try. It's going to be a try. I agree with the bunker. It looks like he might have like sc scraped the white line before the... I actually don't know which Titans player that was that tried to... Drag him back, Eli Barnes has just got that, he's a short fullback that he can wiggle out of those tackles close to the line, get to the floor and just get those points. Yeah, it was Christian McKay there giving up the tackle, uh, well, not being able to make this successful tackle, and now it's going to be 16 nil with 5 minutes to go until half time. Raiders got a firm grip on this game so far. Agreed, Dusty. As I said before, actually, this might be a blowout for the Raiders. If Raiders, I feel like if Raiders score once more, I think we have a possible nil game on our hands. Well, never count the Titans out. We know how good these attacking weapons can be. I just think their kicks haven't been what they wanted so far in this game. As we'll see, as we'll, Luke Thompson received the ball. Oh, long ball over to Michael Court. If that was Madden, it would have been intercepted. Is we'll it Michael see. Court or is it Michael Corte? Honestly, I'm going to have to get a... Um, Correction and chat from him. Uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure. Super Mobs is a slow play to ball. Kawal linking up with Wally Allen again. The Raiders forward pack just getting through a lot of work in this first half. Jack O'Neill linking up with his half partner and fullback. Eli Barnes getting shy of the 50 to try score. Fourth just tackle like now. McKay got him that time, and now McKay is not into where he needs to be, giving Thompson plenty of space for. Liam Ryan to have to take him on head on. Yeah, Liam Ryan getting a getting a. Oh, what's happened there? There's a Falcon or a knock on. I'm not too sure. I would have been captain challenging that if possible. We'll see Preston Beach tackled over the eight, on the 18 meter mark. Christian McKay now trying to make up for that effort of letting in the try earlier. And they'll need three to bring him down. Tackled before the 30. Oh, oh. geez. <laughs> Little man Rogers coming uh, through. It's tackled on the 36 meters out. Second tackle now. It's lucky. Driscoll getting over the 40. Good stuff there. They need to get into Canberra territory. The two minutes to and go. Patrick. It's hard to. Mike Borson doesn't throw the ball that time. Had they had they had a play going, but Borson says I'll try and go myself. And they're gonna leave it to Daly for the kick. He doesn't get fired. Eli Barnes almost breaks through once again. Honestly, I'm interested to see with how many runs Eli's taken, how does his fatigue go? Because fullbacks that run a, a fair bit more ball no, normally have, I'd say, not the best second halves. But who knows? Eli's, Eli Barnes is probably built different, so we'll have to just wait and see. Yeah, we certainly have to. Just ask uh, Tyron Clay on the fatigue. But at the moment, having a look, um, Eli Barnes has 
maxed out fitness, so I'd say he would be all right. As Jordan Lewis now will take it on the 30, and we'll go into half time 16 0. And welcome back to the second half. As we'll see, the Gold Coast Titans down on their luck, kicking off to a Canberra side who was able to score 16 unanswered points in the first half. Ash, what do you make of it? Uh, just sloppy defense from the Titans. They haven't been too bad tonight. They just haven't found a back foot in their defense, which is probably what they're going to be looking for in the second half. Yeah, honestly, I agree. Their defense hasn't been uh, up to standard where it usually is. Neither has their offense, though. Uh, their gun's just not firing yet. As we'll see, Luke Thompson, one of the guns of the Raiders, uh, really great first half by him. Take it up. Uh, not any avail. Alan Berkeley. Oh, wow. Great little passage of play. Doesn't gain many meters, though. Wasn't too effective. Gold Coast on offside marker. We'll see. Riley Flynn on the left side. Take a hit up. Gold Coast defense has been pretty good so far, though. Whatever the coach said at half time is definitely working, except for that play. <laughs> yeah, I think that was uh, Ash Crutcher getting rolled over there. Uh, he'll get back up. They're still in their own territory, Canberra. And we'll see Jack O'Neill with the kick. Sending it downfield, one of his better kicks of the night. Ben O'Donnell now, one of the great kick returns. And look at that, already up to the 40, the strength of the of the Gold Coast Titans player. We'll see it now. Oh, Driscoll as well. Great passage of play by both. Oh, Malucky trying to throw the dummy there, I think. Yeah, dummy just trying to draw off that offside defender, but doesn't work. Liam Ryan now gets passed back to Borsons. It's met by two defenders. Now three getting rolled on his back in the 40. Fourth tackle here. You see, short side, Ben O'Donnell is trying to take a hit up, getting into that position. Now, Mark Lee with the kick across field. With Jacob Morrison with his first kick return. Oh, and it's a beauty. Gets over the 30. Steps oh. one, and it's. And who is that, do you think? On. It's not uh, Liam Ryan. I think that's the sub of Dylan Murray coming onto the field. Hmm. Sub, subs can come on to save the day. Well, it's quite yeah, a we'll... common play in the SRL, isn't it? To send the subs on after the runaway player. Yeah, usually, depending on when they come in. But Alan Berkeley now, he's been great. Former Firehawk. Uh, played alongside him in Season 4 Mines. On again, his big break. As Luke Thompson gets through the line, but is met with a defender. If you see that, I think there's only two people um, ready for the kick at the back there for Gold Coast. They're playing mines. Well, that's a knock on by who? Honestly, can go either way. I hope Titans get the ball. Yeah, knock on by Jack O'Neill. It's going to be Jalen Saltner, the 17, coming onto the field. Good, Ransom. Uh, what, you, you know the, a lot of the mines, boys. What was Saltner like in the mines? Oh, uh, Saltner was a so-and-so player. He had his off and off often on games depending when he wanted to it was really like when he wanted to put his head in the game when he puts his head in the game he's gun of a player makes plenty of meters and oh Liam Martin why <laughs> poor Titans fans in the crowd right now just on their toes with everything the Titans do yeah as Xavier Demando tiptoes with the sideline gets over the 40 great little pa great little pass there and we'll see Mark Lee kicking out from lock Great kick there, going to Eli Barnes, eliminating him. And oh, great defense there by the Titans. They've greatly improved from the first half, don't you think? Ah, uh, very much so. The Titans' defense has definitely bumped up a little more. There's still little gaps in the middle that the Raiders are finding. But we'll have to see for the Raiders to smooth into things again. Wait for Eli Barnes to try and find another break. Yeah, and Eli's really good at that. As Jack O'Neill's found a flat footed, and he's going to throw a knock on, it seems. And Titans, <laughs> first bit of a uh, red zone territory in a long while, isn't it? Yeah, it re really is. Uh, Riley Flynn kind of looked at that pass there and said, what was I meant to do with that pass? Yeah, he was a bit stunned there. Bit of a uh, Corey Thompson 2021 grand final, uh, semi-final against Chalks. We'll see Saltner five metres out now. Mark Lee doesn't elect a pass. He'll try and go himself. And, and he will. <laughs> there, and he'll there we go. Oh. That's beautiful. Titans finally on the board with that beautiful jersey there. So, oh, in the background, Titans player got pushed out the way. Don't know who that was. Yeah, and no, I believe that was... Oh, who's that? Uh, just unable to roll Mark onto his back. And no help, though, by neither Barnes or his uh, the other forwards. 
Mark Malaki will try and make it a 10 point difference here. Could we be seeing a comeback? After the first half, I'm probably going to shut my mouth. I can already hear the Titans fans from the crowd raging at me to zip my mouth. But it is possible here for the Titans. Uh, Raiders, their defense and honestly offense seem a little. Actually, no, I said in the first half, fatigued. They looked, yeah. they looked tired. As we'll see, and now Luke Thompson lining it up for the first time since kickoff. And it was the Neapolitan headgear, headgear rarer, uh, Michael McLucky slotting it over for a two. This is the time where Titans can release all that built up aggression that they held on to and let all the frustration out and just ram the absolute hell out of the forward pack of Canberra. But it's not going to be Lockie Martin. And we we'll see Ask Crutcher with a late pickup. McLucky, Rogers, looks like he's been subbed on for Christian McKay. Christian might come back on at prop at some point. But for now, Liam Ryan breaks the line. Oh, well, there we go. That's what Liam Ryan needs to do a lot more. Just get involved. Like, how Eli Barnes was doing in the, the first half, he needs to do that in the second half, especially with the fatigued Raiders side. And speaking yes. of... <laughs> Nate Pute now going on the edge. Nate Pute, former Penrith player uh, and gunslinger uh, in Season 4 Mines. Great player overall. I think he was a... No, I think he was a Firehawk, actually. Oh, it's going to be Angie Slugger, nonetheless. First time he's been kicked to this game. Uh, this half, sorry. With two offside defenders for the Titans. And he's going to allow uh, Black to go through the middle with an offload to Tim James. What did I say? Honor... Honor... Like... Uh, what's it I called? Middle of the match. <laughs> Inside border, Alan Berkeley. I believe he was the one who let in the tackle earlier. I'll go to Jordan Lewis. Oh, and he goes over one defender. Offload now. And it's going to be back to Tim James through the middle. Amber on oh. a little bit of a roll here. Canberra <laughs> just shocked the Titans who thought they kind of had a little bit of momentum here, but now the Raiders just said, uh-uh, uh-uh, not, he not here in my house. <laughs> I'll send the commentary back to you, Dusty. Yeah, as we see, Xavier Demando now getting some speed. He might be away with the pass. Demando, Demando's away. Well, ball from Demando. He might get caught. Actually, hold on. I must shut my mouth. But Demando will score. Sorry for taking over, Dusty. Couldn't contain my excitement with that one. Yeah, and it was Eli Barnes who just fell off the tackle van. Luke Thompson trying his best to make up for it, but he's unable to as Xavier Demando gets it through the middle. Oh. Uh. He hasn't had much kicks to him all game, Dusty, and give him some space. And as you said, I, th I think you said earlier in the game about him being the better winger, and I think he just proved it right there. Yeah, Xavier Demando, a uh, former Eels player uh, and Canberra player himself, going up against his old club. Uh, He's here to prove a point. Yeah, certainly. Uh, really coming to his own now with... Uh, going up the Titans, really showing the fact that he is one of the better uh, underrated outside backs. Oh, but honest question, Dusty, how do we think this like final portion of the game? We're entering that like sort of final period. Well, I, it's all going to be about who can stay on the longest, like who can have that momentum for the longest time in the second half. Fair, fair. I, I was just in now. Ask Crutcher, Liam Rogers, out to, well, long pass to Liam Rogers, nearly breaks the line, but gains a solid meters there. Joined an offside defender with a marker. Locker Martin now on the 40. It's dragged back. He hasn't had the the same effect as he usually does. He'll go for the early kick, a shallow one at that. Michael McLucky, it'll be Ooh. Eli Barnes picking it up. Oh, Barnes, no. Oh, it, Oh, no, go away. <laughs> away. No one in space of him. Lots of space for the main man himself to put the Raiders back into a comfortable position. Yeah, Eli Barnes, uh, you give him space and he'll take it and he'll score his second of the night. Uh, just increasing that gap there. What'd you make of that? Uh, just the, li <laughs> the little things. Titans thought they could get the upper hand on the Raiders with that short kick, but horrible bounce leads to Eli Barnes getting the 
Um, I think he got um, I f the words on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> he got like a back back foot on Liam Ryan at the back, and just Liam Ryan. Ah, yeah, yeah. The, the words on my foot, <laughs> but just stumbled from. Position. Yeah, wasn't in position. Had nowhere to chase Eli, and honestly, with the way Titans are play playing there, he aches. Well, it, Luke Thompson will now make it another. Uh, make it 10 points of difference again. Honestly, it's just a matter of where the kick needed to be placed. A bit deeper, I don't think that would have happened and Eli wouldn't have been able to strip the ray. But now, Michael McLaughlin again. He'll put it up on the tee and he'll kick it long. Go out the it's middle. He'll go to feet. Eli Barnes. Jordan Lewis now. Shy of the 20. Goes through the middle with James Black. He'll go over to the 30 now. Slow play the ball. Good from the Titans. They make sure they need to be disciplined in this defensive set. Or Allen will get dragged back. Great stuff there by the Canberra Raiders. And now O'Neill. Inside ball with Jerome Daly. Coming on uh, off his... Uh, well, I think he's coming off his edge. Uh, oh, oh, but no. Tim James breaking the line for an offload to Allen Berkeley. But being stopped in his tracks. Great stuff there. It'll be... They'll be in prime kicking territory, trying to put it up. Maybe they won't go to Demando. Instead, it'll be Liam Ryan, conscious of the touchline. Many fullbacks would run out there. We'll go up to the 30. Great stuff there by Liam. Better Take player. Takes some good footwork to keep yourself in the line like that. And Liam Ryan just proved it there. He had to get back for that missed tackle that he couldn't get on Eli Barnes earlier. As Liam Rogers now will go through the line, tries to get the offload, and then Alan Berkeley will come up with it. Just a bit of an air of air for Paul Liam. And now, go to Wally Allen, the opposition second rower. Marking up against Luke Driscoll now. James, we'll go to Lewis. Lewis to Thompson. Lewis to Daly. Looks like Daly's getting involved with the ball, pl with the ball playing. Uh, looks to be playing that fullback, halfback role. And now, slow black. Two offside the markers. And I've... To get Jaden Garcia, I think he is playing that seven role. Uh, do you think so too? David? Um, yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of a thing of he's wearing the wrong number, but he's playing a lot more of a half role. Maybe it could be a future position for him in a position change for another season, but that's kind of have to wait and see. I swear, whenever yeah. I speak, the Titans run away. Well, Justice <laughs> Daly uh, is usually a prop, so maybe he's playing in the lock position. I'm not too sure, but he's definitely playing that ball-playing role. Liam Rogers now will take it over the 50. Third tackle now. McLucky outside to Mark Lee. Inside ball for Liam Ryan. That's how Mark Lee got an intercept, that exact same play earlier. And now Ash Kutcher sees the line, palms off one. He'll get over to the 30. And now... He play it there. Liam Ryan... He's going to be at dummy half. He won't be able to chase it. He'll go to Jacob Morrison. Oh, he step one. But, oh, Liam, able to get back to position. We'll tackle him and being able to put him on his back. Now subs coming back on. We'll see Berkeley, the Wally Allen. I'm not sure where uh, Justice Daly's playing at the moment, but we'll see Ruben Mobs again. Getting dragged back to the 40. Great defensive stuff there by the right edge of the Gold Coast Titans. Going to short side. O'Neill to Wally Allen. They're really linking up. A great um, partnership, these two. O'Neill to Berkeley. We'll go through the middle again. Berkeley might be getting subbed off sooner rather than later. Just simply because of the time restraints. O'Neill now. Kicking it down to Ben O'Donnell. The one person I wouldn't think you'd want to kick down to. But doesn't gain many meters there. Great stuff there, don't. What do you make of that set by the Canberra Raiders? Uh, Raiders doing the bare minimum, just getting Titans down, down into this half to put some pressure on them like they did just there with that shot. Keep Titans down this half, they really can't do anything if they can't be making line breaks. And Oh ooh, no! no ha I'm gonna have to take over here, but Mark Lee, injured now, the captain. That's not great signs by the, uh, for the Gold Coast Titans, as the captain getting injured, Mark, and now Liam Ryan will have to step up. That means That's that Mark Lee will have to come on from the... Well, I think it'll be Lachlan Martin, uh, but you know what that means? Mark Lee will have to come off the bench next week because of his injury. Oh no, he's got he's got to fix that hamstring. He's he wobbled off before 
not good for the Titans being in a second place squad, especially when your team's playing like this. You oh need no, we're gonna get... take over as Jacob Morrison's away here. Liam What's Ryan now. He's in for at, oh, he, He's in the space, but Liam Ryan able to catch up finally. And now prime territory again for the Canberra Raiders in that red zone where they've been so hot before. Jack O'Neill, eight meters out, playing the ball. Luke Thompson, Justice Daly. Looks like he's playing that second row position. And he's going to go over, I think. No, he's going to be called held up in goal. Ref says held up. We get a nice, pretty view of the ref. We'll see. Luke Thompson linking up with Jack O'Neill again. These two women, uh, their partnership on display tonight. Wally Allen, unable to get a pass off. He'll be put on his back there by Liam Ryan in the second row of the Gold Coast Titans. Can't make out who it is, though, this time. Oh, hang on. They're calling for a try. Refs no, it wasn't try. Liam. It was uh, Orsons and Saltner. I'm sorry. Good tackle. Honestly, I'm gonna. I have to be tragically honest. Borsons have has had the probably maybe the worst game of the season, of his season. Just oh, not maybe. much ball play from him. As Dylan mine now takes it um, comfortably, but Borsons himself, he hasn't. He's been more playing running the ball instead of ball playing. Lockham Martin found flat. He's trying to make something up. It's Luke Driscoll now. Get tackled over the 12. They haven't gained many meters at all here. Really getting suffocated in their own end. Orson's inside ball to Liam Ryan. Trying to make something Good up. Tackle. But Liam's unable to gain anything. Fourth tackle. They need a line break here. Orson's takes a settler not to play. Orson's really, really <laughs> needs to have a look at himself there. 13 meters gained in that one set. That's not how you want to be ending your sets. Angie Slugger gets the ball back. Gets tackled just shy of the 50. Link Kowal now receiving the ball. First time he's been um, really been back on this field. Oh, what? Okay, that looks a bit interesting. That looks like a shepherd. GIO Stadium referees. As now Ruben Mobs really just been an overall great player for the the side tonight really get into the thick of it as Eli oh, Barnes no. will break the line and there and causing Liam Ryan to make the tackle okay. Liam Ryan's going to be out of position and it's going to cause Ben O'Donnell to oh tap back now but Eli's going to be tackled there he won't be able to score anything 10 minutes to go in the second half Raiders were like a bump Eli Barnes pass away from scoring another few points oh Daily, drug daily, going for over. <laughs> oh, over 40. Great run there from the center. You love to see when centers make a break. They're not really a huge position in the SRL, and it's always good to see them find their moments to shine at the SRL. They do have their moments. There's two offside Raiders defenders now. And O'Donnell going over the sideline. Breaks a tackle. It's tackled back on the 30 vote. Third tackle. Great form of play there by. Titans. Can they score two tries in the remaining 10 minutes of this game with no Mark Lee? Hayden Davis. Cork screwing up. Just two off, an offside defender of Canberra. McLucky goes to Liam Rogers. They don't play on the on, offside defender. Now they go for the kick. Looks like it'll go to Michael McLucky. It will. Bit of a deep kick there. It'll be a seven oh. tackle set. Eli Barnes is able to take it. Quick note from me, uh, update on Mark Lee, he's out of the sheds with ice on his, the back of his ankle that he said that it felt too tight and so now he's just going to be sitting out for the rest of the game, probably starting on bench next week. Yeah, look, uh, hamstring injury, we'll see what grade it is, uh, hopefully nothing lighter than a 2, as a grade 3 could rule him out for majority of the rest of the season, maybe until finals. Uh, a, a hamstring tear usually can take up to... 8 to 12 weeks if a heavy injury. Luke Thompson now linking up with Eli Barnes again. He breaks the line. Oh, Eli. He's an destructive force, these two. Too. Jack oh. O'Neill now receiving the offload. He's going to be tackled 23 metres out. Eli Barnes again breaks the line. Liam Ryan's not going to be there. And he scores a hat trick, Eli Barnes. Oh, unlucky from Liam Ryan just being out of position. He tried his best to get back there to catch the speeds to Eli Barnes. So hard to catch him though when he's got that foot foot on the racer. 
get, got, gets around the quite small Titans player and really no one inside other than Liam Ryan. Yeah, look, Liam Ryan just wasn't in position to defend well there. And honestly, the defense through the middle of Gold Coast has not been up to standard. Hey, yeah, you do have a point, Dustin. Now you take away Mark Lee for a little bit of the first half of next week's game. How is that going to affect him? Honestly, confidence is key in the SRL, and they just need to get back into that groove of the attacking footage these Titans can play to get back to where they need to be. Uh, they are an astonishing side. As now, Mike McLucky put it on the tee once again. He's put it on the tee more than uh, he would like this game, I'd say. 28-12, to 12, just under seven minutes remaining. We'll see O'Neill will pass it to Ruben Mobs to take it up on the edge, getting shy of the 20. Overall, I think you can say Canberra Raiders have won this game and they will move up from fifth. Yeah, you can already see the Titans fans starting to leave the stadium. There's a few loyal fans, but so so far, it's just going to come down to can Titans make this game look a little better? There's still a little time. I'm no, they up. cannot, as they did. <laughs> and I think that's Clarkie's column in the crowd walking out and blowing up. Uh, big Titans fan Clarkie is. Oh. Unless he looks and kicking to the sideline. Um, no, 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 all I can hear is in my ear. Overall, not a great uh, defensive set there, not what the Titans are about. about. Their standards have dropped immensely uh, this game. As Eli Barnes breaks the tackle, breaks two. Two defenders are going to be, three defenders are going to be needed to stop the rampage and fall back. 18 metres out, can they score another just before they finish this game? Luke Thompson there, going up. To the 10, corkscrew, corkscrewing, oh, that's what I like to call that. And it'll go to Tim James playing on the edge there, who get tackled a meter out now. Will you there be a crash that. play? Oh, yes, no. there will be, but it's an offside defender, it'll be a penalty. They're going to go for two to make it 30 to 12. And this will be the Vikings' final stab in the, 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 Vikings, the Titan. Uh, I didn't know this was the NFL, Ash, but the Raiders will be taking it up two. Well, you can either say the, the logo is a Raider or, Raider or Viking. They're kind of the same thing when you think about it. Yeah. Not too, you are right there, but um, I don't. I, I think if you're a Minnesota fan, um, you didn't want to be teased at these boys. I think it would be better to be a Raiders fan than a Minnesota fan at this point in time. But Michael McLucky, only a short time ago, put the, the ball on the tee again. Uh, hopefully for the last time tonight he will do it. A kickoff now. He'll go to the left, the right edge with Luke Thompson. Passing the ball to Ruben Mobs. Ruben Mobs. Him and Wally Allen have been so fantastic on the on their respected edges this game, don't you agree? Yes, 100% agree. The Raiders are all around. Just have proven why they won the grand final last year. And here we go. Oh no, here we go again. <laughs> A while with a line break, a late one at that, trying to score his own try, maybe. He has been dipped out, but overall, this Canberra side, what a great sense of play. As Luke Thompson now be tackling the fourth, with four, fourth tackle. Now, Justice Daly at 16. You know what? Mm. Overall, Mobs now... Um, He's been a great player, and Wally Allen, when he wasn't subbed, he, he was subbed off at half time for Daly to come on and switch position, switch sides. But overall, the second row stocks of at Canberra right now are the best we've seen in a long time for any club. Uh, their forward pack, one of the best in the competition. Very much agreed. I, I'm honestly on the favour that they could possibly go back to back. Well, potentially, but it's still early in the season. This is only week six. There's still well, nine more weeks to play of football, and after this week, we got a oh, we got a break by Nate Pugh. But talking about breaks, uh, I believe after this week, we will have an Origin break. Ooh, Origin break! Pugh, a few players out. What does that mean for the SRL? Uh, it's, that just means that there won't, won't be any uh, club games, and only be one game of Origin per week. And now we'll see McLucky put up a <laughs> kick, and it'll be Angie Slugger with the. With the catch, it'll be a safe one at that, and he steps the line and gains, and it'll be 
that's it for the game, as it will be a Raiders dominance back to back weeks where Titans just haven't gotten a roll on. Oh, honestly, I will give Titans the benefit of the doubt this week. They did score more than one try this week, getting 12 instead of, I think it was six points last week, if I'm mis not mistaken, Dusty. Yeah, you're correct, and um, overall, this is just, I looked at the stats, you know, not, they didn't, put, they did six errors and conceded three penalties. That is very untitan like um, Missed 25 tackles. They made an extra 51 tackles compared to Canberra. Being a second place squad, that's horrible stats. If you want to keep that top spot, you your, ta your stats kind of have to be on the other table with the Raiders here. Plenty of possession, good completion rate, low error thing, penalties concurred. You need to keep that at zero at all times. Yeah, exactly right. And now, with that, they will be on a negative 14 point differential. They started the get this um, game with a positive four. So not a great sign. But now we'll go to some individual stats. We'll start with Canberra. Look at that. Eli Barnes, 286 meters, 15 tackles, nine line breaks, three tries. That is superb offense from Eli Barnes. I'd say he's pretty he was pretty close to a personal record with stats wise. I'd have to go back and check. Oh, I don't think so. He did uh, nearly run for four hundred meters in season oh, one. Oh. Uh -oh. Eli, Eli Barnes, legend of the NRL, but wrong sport. <laughs> SRL, sorry. Well, now I, I'd just like to point out the halves. Uh, they both ran for one hundred and forty run meters, made nearly ten tackles each. Their kicking was superb. Uh, Jack O'Neill coming up with two try assists and four conversions for Luke Thompson with three line breaks for himself. Overall, this was a fantastic game by everyone in Canberra. Yeah, just stats all around for everyone. But I, I'm still sticking to my word. That, that man at, with the lock position on his name, James Black, he's going to be my man of the match. Yeah, playing up prop at this game, playing in the number 10. Uh... Overall, really good. Uh, we'll see what uh, what the Sim VP points put out. But now we'll go to Titans. Liam Ryan, 158. Doesn't even break the 200 mark. You know, he wasn't given the opportunities need, uh, that he needed to really break the line. And I think it comes down to his halves. Yeah. And it's Michael McLucky. Michael a 5'8", ran for 56 metres. Aye, aye, aye. Not, not what you want to be doing... <laughs> 114. Mike Borson's only kicked for 33. Michael McLucky, uh, 232. If we do the math on that one, that is on average 25.7 meters per kick. So not overall great um, with that one. I don't want to tear the Titans apart. They are a superb football team. And really, I think it was Ben O'Donnell and David Demando who really tried to put the games on their backs with their kick returns. Uh, O'Donnell, 139, and Demando, 136. Overall, they played a solid game. Uh, really, just nothing was firing f for these guys, unfortunately. Honestly, I have to agree there. Titans, Liam Ryan could have had cracker of a game. It's just the players set setting him up weren't doing their jobs, really. Mark Lee was really the only one, along with... Who was the other player that had a couple pa passes in the game that found some breaks? Um, oh, there's a couple, but yeah, Mark Lee, uh, really, no one could really find their groove in this game, but honestly, we can't go on it now. Uh, up next, um, we have, this is the first game of the round, up next, the following match, Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs versus the Penrith Panthers. Canterbury have, may have just secured the number one spot for this round. They have been the dominant side. Until then, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I'm Dustin Richards, and I was joined by Ash. And Ash joined by Ash. Thanks for having me. See you. See you soon.